Should be sponsored by Spartan. Had the key so you know I'm shot calling. Got on handles, but swear that they ballin'. Pass the button, they fake match with Johnson. Pot G to go, no one can stop me. 18 months with anyone in your posse. You post up in the paint and get body. Jaw out with the finish, I got gossip. Next thing gon' shoot, well, I guess I'm a carry. Let them shots fly, it's a bird like a lane. Sauce up on the court, I'm chasing like dairy. I'm extraordinary, no, not ordinary. Got a bunch of holla fame, badges on wear. You try to guard me, it's you that I'm squaring. I'm ice with a team, they can't run. Really was wearing out space in the floor so my brothers can clear it out Foot on the gas, green like can't miss Feel like Kobe Bay in 06 You ain't never ran to a bill like this Go ahead and sell out on the bench you sit Try to get a GG but the whole team quit Either way free up, I'ma going on it Even off the court, no I'm standing on it I'ma lead to a sun, put in work for this well, Team 4 and fade, now go get the AI I get What it do you do? It's your boy, Prodigy the GOAT and before we get into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, sub if you're new, and turn those post notifications, man. Now today we're going to go over some of the new badges in NBA 2K22 and go over some of the badges that we already know that's in the game. We're going to break it down, we're going to discuss it, and we're going to talk about it. And we're also going to go over the season roadmap that they released on Twitter. I just feel like I just want to cover it. I should let y'all know just in case y'all haven't seen it. So stay tuned for the whole video, man. We're going to discuss a lot of things. Make sure y'all drop down in the comment section what y'all think about these new badges. We're a couple weeks away from lunch date, so it's a must we stay on top of the information that 2K is giving us. Let's not slack and fall back. Anytime they drop some, I don't drop a song. So I appreciate everybody who's been staying tuned with your boy. Now look, here are the badges real quick. Let's take a look at this. Right now, as we can see, these are playmaking badges. All right? Up top, it gives you a badge spread. It looks like they have 18 finishing, 32 shoot, 16 playmaking, and 12 de defensive slash rebounding. I don't know what build that is, but it looks something like a, a two-way... I don't know. I mean, obviously it can spot up with 32 badges. 16 is enough to play, mate. 12 should be enough to play defense depending on how that player IQ is. And 18 is probably well, well over enough to finish. So I don't know what type of build this is, but they, they're going to lay out right there. Okay. Now let's go over the badges. Anchor Breaker is back in the game. That's It's confirmed. You see it right there on the screen. They only can get it on silver. So I don't know how effective that would be, but there it is. We still have Bullet Passer in the game. We also have Floyd General Hyperdrive, which is a new badge, okay? Hyperdrive is a new badge. I don't know what that badge do, but we're going to find out when the game comes out. We also have Quick Chain, all right? That's a, another new badge. I don't know. It, it, it sounds like it's, it may be related to Relay Pass or how it was in 2K21, but I'm not sure. We'll have to wait till the game comes out so we can see it. Special Delivery is back in the game. Another new badge is Triple Threat Juke. Okay. Um, I don't know what Triple Threat Juke is, but, you know, a lot of these badges, like I said, I don't know. But we just gonna we're gonna have to just wait and see. Bell out is still in the game. Of course, you still have Dimer. You also have Glue Hands, which is another new badge. But I, I think that was a badge in the a previous 2K back in the day. I'm not sure. Um, but there we have it. Glue hand. We still have needle threader. We also have quick first step, stop and go, unpluckable, break starter, downhill, handle for days, and another new badge is post playmaker. All right, post playmaker. I don't know if that's for big man or small guys, but it's in the playmaking category. So we, we've yet to you know figure that part out. Space credit and tight handles. Okay, now what do y'all see when y'all see this? You see bash layout one. You also see by glue hands cost four. So I'm assuming that you, you earn your bash points, you know, playing a game and you just upgrade them like every other year and you know it costs four for hall of fame 
costs three for gold, you know, two for silver, and one for bronze. All right, that, that sounds pretty decent to me. That sounds cool. All right. Now, I hope these badges are effective, though. That, see, that, that that's the big thing when it comes to these badges, man. Y'all put hyperdrive and triple threat juke, quick chain, post playmaker, and glue hands, these new badges in the game. One or two things always happen. They either really suck, right? Or they're just too overpowered. We have that issue every year in the game. When they implement new badges and new things in the game, is either too good or not good at all. It's never a balance right in between where it's just perfect for people to use. Because you know the 2K community, when they find any little glitch in the game or any badge in the game that they feel like is broken, they abuse it, man. And, and it mess it messes up everything for the community and everybody get to doing it. Then 2K wanna go in there and start patching things and dummying badges down. And y'all already know how it go. Come on now, let's I don't, I, don't, I don't know why we do that as a community, but we need to stop that. Let's have fun with the game. Let's just play it, man. All right? Now, look. This is the NBA 2K22 season roadmap. All right? September, call to ball. That is season one. October will be season two. December will be season three. January will be season four. February, season five. April, Season 6, May Season 7, July Season 8, and August Season 9th. Alright, plan and get rewards. New season rewards, new XP challenges, and new music and apparel. Alright, new content to earn every 6 weeks with seasons. So, for my last video, which would be down in the description, y'all go check that out. We discuss on um, how you get to legend, right? So as we see, it's nine seasons. All you have to do is get the um, the forty, get the forty on your level up four times in order to become legend, and it doesn't have to be consecutive. So if it's nine seasons, four out of just nine, you, you need to, you need to um, level up to forty in order to become legend. So that means by the looks of this. It can be a legend by the earliest of January, right? Because that's the fourth season. If somebody go out there and grind it out and they, they reach level 40 for the first four seasons, that would that, be legend. So I kind of like the way 2K did this because it gives everybody the opportunity to kind of hit legend. And, and it also gives you reasons to play the game. Like, like the last season is in August, you know what I mean? Let's keep it real. By August, uh, uh, not eighty-five percent of y'all not even playing the game anymore because it's either the bull, y'all even bored with the game, or you know it's just it's just things in the game that's not fixed. But the way they implemented this in the game, it should be interesting. It should keep your focus on the game a little more, right? So you have nine opportunities to hit legend this year. It, it's, it's not just a, a, a bar. You just gotta keep filling it up and keep filling it up. You gotta go out there and grind, get your XP points, upgrade to level 40, you know, get the new stuff that they give you for, for each upgrade. And another thing, don't forget, when you upgrade, everything, the, the rewards that you get are free. You know what I mean? And we're not used to 2K giving us free things. So all this stuff that was in my last video that I was showing y'all with the go-karts and the sleeves, the backpacks. And, and all that stuff, all that stuff is free once you level up. So when you level up, all you're doing is earning it, right? And, and, and it's, that makes sense. When you earn something and it's a reward, it's supposed to be free. Why do we have to, we shouldn't have to pay for something that's a reward. You know what I mean? That's crazy. It's a reward. All right. Now look, real quick before we end this video, man, we went over some new badges. Tell me down in the comment section what y'all think about them new badges. Are y'all hyped about it? We need to see some finishing, some shooting, defensive badges now. As we cut, we just covered the playmaking, and that may not be all the playmaking. We don't know. It was a little snippet, a little little teaser. It could be, or it may not be. We don't know yet, man. But I'm not gonna hold y'all too long. I appreciate everybody who been tuned in to the channel and everybody been checking in with your boy, man. I highly appreciate that. I really do, man. But y'all know before I go, y'all know my motto: Stay blessed. 
stay sucker free. Much love and respect. Prodigy out.